The All-American Qualifiers are brought to you by Tempting Dash, undefeated champion runner and sire of a champion, and by Granada Farms. Also standing Bodacious Dash and Azum. Fifth Fastest, First Fancy Racy. First Fancy Racy certainly has All-American Derby credentials, having finished second in the Texas Classic Futurity. But that was nine months ago, and she hadn't raced since. We thought about putting her in the rainbow. Uh, she'd had them in a supplement, and I just kind of talked them out of it and pointed her for the All-American, and the filly had worked good every time we worked her. And we gated her here two weeks ago, and I mean, she just worked super, and she set up perfect for the race. Jockey Jose Alvarez was aboard the filly for the first time. There, running. And headed out for the late TFI, and that guy for the outside. Inside of that is Rip Dodd, and then we have Rango B, and then down at the rail is DMI. You're going to hear me far side. There goes First Fancy Racy. First Fancy Racy sweeps by them all. First Fancy Racy opening up, and it's going to win handily. First Fancy Racy. The filly by Carter's Cartel out of First Down Racy wins it by nearly three links. She is owned by Aldi Transport and was bred by Sunflower Supply Company. It's clear to see that she's no petite little filly. She looks like a big old stud horse. She's a great big filly, and uh, she jumps a long ways, and, and she likes going down the racetrack, and she just, she's just she been a great filly from day one. Curl gives a lot of credit for the stable's success to his top assistant. My best friend, Jimmy Padgett, went to work for me last fall, and he's in the backbone out here, and uh, or wherever I send him, and he's done a hell of a job. Good help and fast horses. Sounds like a stakes winning combination. Watch the All American Finals live Labor Day weekend only on Rye TV.